Leader, um, once again I call for a further debate on Ireland's migration policies. Tonight in the Dáil, this government pushed through the EU Migration and Asylum Pact. I recently received a white paper titled Immigration's Connections to Crime in Denmark and Sweden and Lessons for Ireland from Ryan Research. The key findings of the white paper highlight the sharp increase in overall crime, particularly violent and sexual offences, coinciding with substantial increases in immigration from non-Western countries in Denmark and Sweden. Furthermore, non-Western immigrants and their descendants were found to be disproportionately uh, uh, represented in crime statistics in both countries. This emphasised the need for proactive measures to manage immigration and ensure public safety. In 2023, 72% of the new emigrants per year to Ireland were from non-EU and non-UK countries. In 2006, non-EU and non-UK migrants were only 18% of migrants. Our current number is a fourfold increase. Why is this important to note? Because Ireland has experienced a 43% increase in violent crimes and a 113% increase in sexual offences since 2003. We must objectively look at the positive and, and negative impacts crime. of societal change. Ireland has experienced unprecedented levels of immigration in recent years and it is crucial for us to learn from the experiences of our European neighbours in order to avoid potential pitfalls. Denmark, notably, will not be opting in. In Denmark, a 158% increase in migrants correlated with a 31% increase in overall crime. Violent crimes increased by 94% and sexual offences by 248%. In November of last year, I was accused of using dangerous language by Minister Helen McAtee for stating similar facts. The only person putting the Irish people at danger is Minister McAtee for failing to execute the long-held plan to turn Thornton Hall into a prison.